Perfect. And mm -hmm. we can go ahead and get started once I get my screen cleared off. Okay. So at Run Wild Retreats, we are a team of seven women. As a company, we've won many rewards, and we belong to many incredible organizations that help us deliver you an amazing retreat experience. And that's what we can't wait to share with you today. We're so excited to share more about one of our newest trips, the Iceland Hiking with Viking Women Retreat. This is our very first ever hiking only retreat, um, and it's going to be such an amazing experience. So let's just dive in. My name is Hallie Stewart. I am a retreat travel specialist here at Run Wild Retreats. My job is to help you plan and prepare for your retreat from the time you begin to think about booking a retreat until you depart for your retreat and beyond. Today, I'm joined by Jan Curl. She's a retreat leader for us at Run Wild Retreats. Jan, can you take a moment to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Hello there. Uh, I am Jan Curl, a retreat leader. This will be, I'm going into my third year with Run Wild Retreats. And I had the wonderful pleasure of being the retreat leader in Iceland last summer. We had a fab fabulous retreat last August. Uh, and it was a running retreat. So this year we will be doing a running retreat and the hiking retreat. So I am incredibly excited about uh, this hiking retreat. Awesome. Thank you, Jam. Now, you may be wondering why Iceland? Well, Iceland is a hiking mecca. And for quite some time, our clients have been asking us for a retreat centered around mindful hiking instead of running. When we had the opportunity to partner with professional guide Saga of Viking Women Tours, we knew this trip would be the perfect opportunity to create a hiking experience that still incorporates the mindful travel that Run Wild Retreats is known for. During this retreat, you will hone the skill of discerning between what empowers you versus what disempowers you. As you trek through picturesque landscapes, your Icelandic guides will recount tales of Viking lore, specifically stories about how Valkyries became symbols of empowerment for women. In more recent times, Iceland has elected the world's first female president and has a dedicated ministry of gender equality. So I couldn't think of a more perfect place to tap into your empowerment as a woman. Jan, you've led multiple retreats in Iceland and you've even attended a retreat with us as a participant way back when. Drawing yes. from your experience in Iceland, do you have anything to add about why Iceland's an ideal destination for mindful hiking? It is extraordinarily beautiful. Nature is at its uh, most magnificent in so many different ways, whether it might be the glaciers, the fjords, the um, hot springs, the volcanoes. Um, it is a truly fascinating country uh, in terms of its uh, biodiversity and the geothermal activity, it's really stunning. So to just be there, there's something when we do a mindful exercise and we are standing on Icelandic soil, there's something profound about that. You have to travel a fair, everyone has to travel a fair distance to get there. And then we are very aware of being on that soil when we begin a retreat and to be able to spend seven days there exploring, discovering, taking it all in, it is really a, a fabulous experience. That's I recommend amazing. it highly to everyone. I really think it's one of those far off places that you might dream about and yet it is very accessible and doable, particularly with Run Wild Retreats. Awesome, thank you, Jan. So this retreat begins uh, at the Keflavik International Airport, where, where you'll meet up with your retreat leader, Jan, and the rest of the group at the airport. If you're arriving to Iceland early, there will also be a second meetup spot in downtown Reykjavik at the Center Hotel Midgarter, and all of this information is on the retreat page, so um, 
So no worries. And you can always reach out to me. From here together, you will begin the seven day journey through the central highlands, exploring some of Iceland's most scenic landscape, relaxing in geothermal hot springs and spending time to rest and reflect. So why run wild retreats? At Run Wild Retreats, we view ourselves as much more than a running or hiking tour company. We believe that uh, hiking is so much more than just a good workout, and it's also more than just a fun way to explore a, a beautiful country. Our retreats are an exploration into the deeper layers of hiking, sinking into the endorphin high and resting in that flow state where it all just feels effortless. Just like we did when we brought a group of women to Bhutan last year, this retreat in Iceland provides the space to clear your mind, breathe deeply, connect with nature, and with what's in your heart. After all, our mission is to support you as a whole woman, not just you as a runner or a hiker. That often means uh, offering moments and specific practices that help you to be mindful, be present, and have a potentially transformational experience. We really look forward to traveling mindfully in Iceland with you and through these sacred spaces. So let's dive into a little bit more about what that'll look like. We're going to take you through Iceland in our way of a mindful travel journey, one that takes place inside of yourself as much as in a foreign place. We've very intentionally designed our itineraries to be mindful and strike a balance between doing and being. Throughout this webinar, we'll share more about what that means. So the journey begins even before you depart from home. Once you've decided to join our retreat and secure your spot, the adventure starts, and we embark on this journey right alongside you the whole time. As part of the pre-retreat preparations, you'll connect with your retreat leader through a Zoom call. This session provides a chance to mentally and practically prepare for your retreat ahead. We also provide you with a comprehensive packing list, a personalized to-do list in your retreat planning account, tips for planning your travel, and videos outlining how to travel with heart in preparation for your transformational journey. So as with every retreat, we do highly recommend that you arrive to Iceland early. Uh, not only does arriving early prevent any travel delays from disrupting the start of your retreat, but um, it also allows you to adjust to a new time zone so that you can start your retreat feeling relaxed and well-rested. We actually have two unique pre-retreat extension opportunities available uh, for this retreat, depending on whether you prefer to arrive two or three days early. The three-day extension offers a chance to experience the rugged beauty of the South Coast, and the two-day extension is an immersive experience in the beauty and magic of West I Iceland's Snuffleness Peninsula. Both of these experiences are different from anywhere you'll be visiting on the main retreat, so it also offers you the opportunity to see even more of the country. So among many other things, your extension will include private airport pickups, um, they're designed to merge seamlessly with the start of the main retreat as well. Uh, so you can find all the details about the pre-retreat extension options on the first page of the itinerary. And um, there's a good description there. If you have any other questions, um, you can reach out to me. I'll give you my contact information at the end of the webinar here. So now jumping into the start of the main retreat. Upon your morning arrival in Iceland, you'll immediately feel supported by your team as you're greeted by your retreat leader at the airport. From here, we'll all head to the hotel together, stopping to stretch our legs on a short hike in the beautiful steam valley along the way. Arriving in Iceland is a really big change from what you're used to. You've traveled far to get here, and we understand that it may feel overwhelming in the beginning. Right from day one, our team is committed to helping you feel connected as a group, even if you're traveling alone. So Jan, uh, would you mind telling us a little bit about the hiking in Iceland and what to expect? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I'm happy to. Um, the we are Iceland is at sea level, so there is not a huge amount of elevation. But having said that, it always seems to it's almost inevitable when you get started. It seems like you start to go right uphill. <laughs> it just 
every hike you get started, you're going uphill. But that's the beauty of it because you are rewarded for your efforts almost at every turn, every little bit of um, effort uh, turns up a gorgeous view. It might turn a waterfall around the next corner. Um, the hiking is really phenomenal. It is next level in terms of the variety of geological wonders that we are able to come across on each day's hikes. Uh, the different uh, kinds of water that we come in contact with. There's going to be many opportunities uh, for some thermal bathing, which is uh, personally any hike that I could do where there's a thermal bath involved is sounds good to me. Um, but the hiking will be, uh, it's certainly to be taken seriously because the terrain uh, does have its challenges. Um, but it's very, with our mindful practices that we incorporate into all of our retreats, uh, I will be working with you on just different tools and different practices that really help you get the most out of your experience and enjoy um, the hiking that you're going to be doing and your time on the trail. Awesome. Um, yeah. Thanks, Jan. Could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the how, how many miles will we be hiking? Uh, what kind of fitness level should we have uh, before we embark on the journey? Absolutely. So on average, we're going to be hiking probably about, I know this is a, a large span, but two to five hours a day. Uh, and that would be covering, um, you know, a good four to eight miles um depending but within that you are work you're going to be hiking at your own pace that feels right for you i would recommend though that you come into this with a good solid base of having been hiking on the regular in your home uh whether it's you know seattle or wherever you happen to be make it a regular activity so that when you come to iceland you're feeling good out there. It will just enhance your time. Um, but having said that, will every day you will be getting stronger and feeling uh, more capable uh, every day as we're on the trail. There's going to be some, um, I'll, I'll definitely be taking some time to work with everyone so that they're comfortable on the trail in terms of their own technique um so that the terrain that we cover is very manageable for everyone Jen, i do have a question i'm sorry yes. my my thing isn't working okay. um in terms of elevation yes could you tell us a little bit more about that yes it is sea level so we're really talking about elevation only of a couple of hundred feet okay. you know Perfect. maybe 500 600 okay. over the course of several miles okay. um it is, but having said that, there are times where you do feel like you are climbing uphill. There's no doubt about that. But again, the reward comes where then there'll be sort of an expanse in front of you and quite a, a, a long pass where you're at a steady elevation uh, after that initial effort. Um, so, you know, you will, you'll feel that you'll feel your heart pounding in your chest. There's no doubt about that. We will have breathtaking views, uh, where we literally, our breath will be taken away just from the effort, but it's really something that that's why I would recommend that you work with your mileage so that you're getting your mileage up to four or five in a particular, on a particular hike. But having said that, when we're out on the trail, we do take our time and we stop for photos and we stop for uh, a, a food, a nutrition break um, and just enjoying ourselves and being present in the experience. So it's not a hard hike in that it's, there's, serious, there's no time uh, restraints on you or there's no need to keep to a certain pace. There will be our guides, our local guides and myself, and we will be, everyone will always be in contact uh, with someone uh, 
who takes care of them and makes sure that they're comfortable out on the trail. Awesome. And okay. and also, I think something that's worth mentioning, you know, it's very different than if you're hiking in Colorado or um, the Alps. Uh, those are very steep mountains. These are more um, hilly rolling. mountains, if you will. Yeah. Yes, I would say more rolling, um, where you might have a stretch of uphill, but then it quickly will level out and then roll along a bit before it ascends again. Perfect. Thank you. Um, thank you for going over the, the hiking, Jan. Yes. Uh, let me find my clicker here and get back on track. Okay, so now uh, we'll jump into a little bit about um, what our first accommodation looks like. Uh, so our itinerary has us staying for two nights at the lovely Frost and Fire Boutique Hotel. This hotel is nestled in the geothermal foothills where steam plumes rise from the ground, uh, which offers a really distinctive uh, Icelandic experience. Here you'll have access to luxury accommodations and the best geothermal swimming and bathing facilities in the area. Um, and something that the hotel really takes pride in, which I think is very exciting, is uh, curating a breakfast spread that showcases the best of Iceland's culinary heritage. Mm -hmm. So uh, throughout your retreat, we really encourage you to enter this experience with an open mind, letting go of any assumptions or expectations that you may carry. Mindful travel entails being aware of these preconceptions and fostering curiosity about the unique experiences that await you. Everything unfolds uniquely in Iceland. It's important to embrace this diversity with openness because it's in these very experiences that hold the power to bring about lasting changes within you. We highly recommend elevating your retreat experience with the Transformational Travel Journal, uh, which was designed to facilitate self-discovery and foster lasting personal growth. This journal also doubles as a wonderful way to record and reflect upon your experiences on the retreat. Uh, so when booking your retreat package, you'll have the option to include the transformational travel journal, and if chosen, we'll mail it to you in advance, which will allow you to begin the process of setting your intention for the retreat ahead of time prior to your departure. The retreat presents a unique opportunity for profound connections, not only with your Icelandic guides and cultural hosts, but also with your retreat leader and the fellow retreat participants that will be traveling alongside you. The shared mindful experience serves as a cornerstone of this journey. With the intentional limitation of Wi-Fi and cellular service, you'll discover yourself relying less on your phone, resulting in a really powerful digital detox, fostering a heightened sense of presence. Um, also, our presence policy reinforces this commitment by encouraging participants to turn off watches and GPS devices on trail, mitigating digital distractions during the hikes. So at the beginning of your retreat, you may feel overwhelmed by the initial wave of unfamiliarity, but just trust that you do belong here and that you are supported on this retreat. Your guides and your retreat leader are here to support you as you go through your own inner journey, as well as your physical journey through this place. You'll notice that being mindful isn't, it doesn't come until phase five of the retreat experience. And that's really because it does take us a while to become more present and to put into practice the mindful techniques that your retreat leader offers on trail. It takes a while to really become integrated into your body and in your mind. You don't just flip a switch. It's a progression, and that's why each day on the trail is an opportunity to practice these techniques and practice being more aware of where your attention is. Um, so Jan, can you tell us a little bit more about how mindfulness, mindfulness is incorporated into the hikes on this retreat? Absolutely. We, uh, it, you know, every day, even though it does take a bit of time for it to sink in. We do mindful exercises really from our welcome meeting um, every day of the, the retreat, the time that we're together. It may be a breathing exercise. It may be a body scan. It may be um, just spending time together in silence where we're able to hear the nature around us. 
So taking these little opportunities to just tap in on the every day, just a little bit, it does build to where it does become uh, uh, something that you're very open to and that you're very aware of and looking for opportunities to be more mindful on this journey for yourself. You've come on this trip leaving everything behind so that you can have this time to yourself and run wild retreats absolutely supports that effort in its entirety as a retreat leader there are some practices uh like i mentioned in terms of just our centering and our breathing uh and our posture things that you might not have thought about in terms of how it directly applies to your mindfulness in your present surroundings um and all of that uh, together we will make our focus uh, on the regular so that it becomes something that just feels um, not unusual at all. In fact, quite uh, much more the norm in what you want to be doing. Uh, and that's what makes the retreat so special, that you make time for living in a, a different manner than you do when you're home. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Thank you, Jan. So we've also included plenty of time to rejuvenate and relax in the afternoons. On this retreat, you'll have quiet time for soaking in mineral-rich geothermal hot springs, enjoying spa treatments, and relaxing in steam rooms and saunas. Um, as Jan was describing to me as we were speaking about this retreat before, um, Iceland's really about, about the water and, and being held and nourished by the water in the geothermal hot springs. So your retreat package includes an entrance to the blue lagoon, the silica lagoon, which I'll speak about a little bit more later in the webinar, um, and the Langervatten geothermal baths. Uh, we understand the importance of balancing the physical intensity of hiking with ded dedicated time for self-care. So we have plenty of time set aside for you to relax and, and nourish and rejuvenate. So here we are, phase six of the retreat experience. You'll notice it's titled Embrace Challenge. So by now, you've been hiking in Iceland for a number of days, building towards some of the longer and more challenging hikes to come. We encourage you to embrace the challenge and become open to the growth and insight that will come as a result of safely pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. With longer and more challenging hikes, you'll experience a heightened sense of accomplishment and greater reward. So our itinerary also has us staying two nights at the brand new Highland Base Lodge. We are beyond excited to be one of the first companies to bring guests to this special place. Um, like I said, it's brand new and it's located uh, surrounded by rugged mountains, vast lava fields and pristine nature. Um, the hotel offers a unique blend of adventure and comfort. Uh, at the Highland Base, you are staying in the absolute perfect location to hike in the heart of Iceland's captivating highlands. Um, and after each day's hike, you'll have everything you need to relax and nurture your well-being with upscale rooms, geothermal baths, hearty cooking prepared with locally sourced ingredients, and a cozy common area to share stories or cuddle up and read a good book. So we really can't wait for you to experience this hotel. And even getting to that hotel is an experience. So <laughs> trust me on that. Yes. Um, and the, the views are just insane. Yeah. Um, so in the final days of your retreat, we really encourage you to take time to recognize what you're most thankful for and feel the impact that gratitude has on your body. You'll be amazed at just how transformative the simple practice of gratitude can be. And finally, for your last two nights in Iceland, we've arranged a special stay at the Silica Hotel. This hotel is surrounded by otherworldly landscapes of volcanic terrain and is located on the same property as the world famous Blue Lagoon. You may have heard of it. It's um, all over the internet. <laughs> 
In addition to the opportunity to soak Instagram. at the famous Blue Lagoon uh, itself, you'll have exclusive access to the Silica Lagoon, which is the hotel's private lagoon, and it's much less crowded than the Blue Lagoon. Um, so you'll get to see the Blue Lagoon, but actually you'll get to spend the majority of your time at the Silica Lagoon, which is very similar, but better because not everybody can access it. Um, so to enhance your wellness journey, the hotel offers a range of spa amenities and treatments as well. So as our retreat draws to a close, your retreat leader will guide a sharing circle, providing a space for you to openly express the shifts and transformations that you've experienced during the week. As part of this reflection, you can further process your thoughts by journaling in your own personal transformational travel journal as well. This self-reflection is really an integral part of the retreat. It's a reminder that this experience was more than just a powerful immersion in a foreign country. It was a dedicated focus on self-care, mental well-being, and feeding your soul with activities you love, like hiking with an amazing group of like-minded women. And as you return home amidst the rush of responsibilities, remember to pause and appreciate all that this retreat has given you beyond the Instagram worthy pictures. Now, a common question that we get is about who's going on the retreat. So here's an overview. Uh, so far, we have a group of amazing women booked on this retreat. Most are between ages 40 and 65 from all across the US. This hiking retreat is recommended for those of you with good health and moderate level of fitness. The distances we cover are not long. The longest is uh, between six and eight miles and other hikes are shorter. We'll be hiking with breaks for uh, two to five hours a day, like Jan mentioned earlier. Uh, so don't worry about what to wear. We provide you with a comprehensive packing list. Um, the one thing that you must have or be willing to acquire before the retreat is hiking shoes. Now, in my opinion, one of the best parts of traveling is eating. Most meals are included in your retreat package, um, if not all, and we handpick high quality restaurants. Jan, can you share a bit more about the cuisine that we have to look forward to in Iceland? Absolutely. So the food is delicious. It's wonderful. It's incredibly uh, healthy. It's very natural. There's not preservatives. There's not added uh, GMO type things. I don't even think they know what that is. Um, but it tends to be high protein. So whether it's these fish with the omega-3s, uh, rich in omega-3s, or yogurt, their yogurt is phenomenal. You will try the yogurt and want to have it for dessert. It is literally that good. Um, but they, they also, they're a hearty group of people. They value their food. They take pride in their food. The cuisine is is presented beautifully and it tastes fantastic. And it's also hearty in that the portions are large. Uh, that was one thing that really struck me because you are hard pressed even with it being as good as it is to eat everything that's put in front of you, although you do want to do that. Uh, the group that I was with in Iceland on the last summer's retreat, we were served lamb uh, a couple of times, and that was something that you see the lamb during the day, and then at night you don't necessarily want to be eating it, but off, oftentimes you can make your own selection, so you're not forced there. But the quality is fantastic. And we also go to this tomato greenhouse um, where everything is made with tomatoes, including the dessert, which may not sound good, but it 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 is phenomenal. Um, so it does not disappoint and it's completely worth all. We will have earned our meals for sure and we will enjoy them. Awesome. And I just want to add something that you've said to me and one of our other retreat leaders has also said that um, you just feel better. Um, and the, more, the longer you're there, the more you're eating the food there, you can really tell the quality based off of how you feel. You do. You feel stronger. You know, you just feel better every day. 
Uh, and it's a bit of the combination of our physical activity sure. as well as what we're eating, but the two go very well together. And you really do uh, feel like spa, like you've been treated to sort of that spa experience just based on the food being that added high quality. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. Jan. It's, fa um, it's fabulous. I'm looking forward to it. That is for sure. Absolutely. So uh, here you'll see a list of what's included. Um, as you can see, our retreat package is very comprehensive uh, because we really want you to just be able to show up and hike and not worry about having to pay for extra things each day. Um, so that's part of what we do to um, help you not think or plan. Uh, we just want this to be a very stress-free experience. Um, you will find this list again on the retreat page um, under the Your Booking section. Um, so I'll drop a link to the retreat page shortly. So um, this is just a list of the few ways that we, we help you. Um, our retreat travel specialists are here to support you throughout the booking and travel process. Um, and then your retreat leader is there to support you throughout your entire retreat experience in Iceland. Uh, we organize your entry uh, reservation to all of the geothermal baths and the national parks that we'll be visiting. Uh, we arrange your airport transfers upon um, arrival and departure. And if you do select one of the pre-retreat extension options, we will fully book that trip extension for you. Um, we can also recommend travel insurance providers uh, that fit, you, fit your budget. So uh, let's see here, I'm gonna go, oops. I'm gonna drop a link to the retreat page in our chat now. And uh, you'll see on that page, um, this is how to book. There is a book this retreat button here, um, or you can click the my booking tab here. Again, that's where you'll see the list of everything uh, that's included. So the way to book this retreat is to re register uh, by going and clicking on the book this retreat. Many of you watching here have already done this. Um, but you'll go ahead and choose your retreat package. You can select between a shared room package or a private room package. Um, if you opt for a shared room package, you'll have a room to yourself the entire retreat. If you opt for a shared room package, um, we will pair you with another woman who's also traveling solo. Or if you're two friends booking together, uh, we will pair you two as roommates. Um, during the booking process, you can add additional services to customize your retreat package, such as the transformational travel journal and the pre-retreat extension. So a $1,500 deposit is due to reserve your spot on, the, on this trip. And then the balance due deadline is coming up soon. It's on March 2nd. So that's when the final remaining balance is due. Um, now we do offer payment plans. So if you if you need us to set that up for you, uh, please contact us and, and let us know. Um, and I'll go ahead and drop my information in the chat where you can reach out. Um, but now we'll go over your questions. And we did have some pre-submitted questions too that we can, we can go over um, if there weren't any in the chat. Uh, and I just dropped my, my email and my phone number. So, so that's where you can reach me. Um, uh, anytime and and ask personalized uh, questions if if something comes up after after this call. But one of the questions we had uh, was how many travel as individuals on retreats versus coming with friends. Um, and the answer to that is the majority of our uh, of of travelers do travel solo, uh, but we do have a good you know amount of friends who are coming. So together or mother-daughter duos who enjoy the retreats together. So um, Jan, you you probably see that m most often. Yes. Is it mostly solo you know, travelers? It's mostly, I would say maybe 60-40 so that everyone's comfortable. 40% might be traveling with a friend or a sister or maybe a daughter. And then the 60% are coming solo. Um, and it just works out really nicely. And then I have found the ones, my favorite are sisters. Charlotte was on for a second there. I saw one of the sisters that I had the joy of being on a retreat with. And it's, it's wonderful to see sisters traveling together. That's one of my favorite things. Awesome. Um, 
and then I'm just going to scan these questions, skip the ones that we addressed in the in the webinar. Um, someone says, I'm not a runner, uh, so not sure if this is uh, the, the right trip. Well, this is the perfect trip for you if you're not a runner. That's why we've... Um, we've decided to to have this hiking retreat. Um, maybe you've been intrigued with run wild retreats and you wanna have a tran the, the special transformational uh, travel experience that we offer, um, but maybe you used to be a runner and you can no longer run or, or you just- Or you wanna take the pressure off yourself of having to run on a retreat every day. Exactly. It really takes that pressure away so that you can actually be more present. present. When you slow down, down, you know, every bit, you just are able to take in more, um, which makes this really an exciting retreat for us, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And Karen, uh, Karen asked how many women in total. So uh, this retreat, as as most of our other retreats, we have a maximum uh, capacity for about 15 women. Uh, so generally, the retreat size is between um, uh, eight and 15 people, uh, opportunity for group meditation or yoga sessions. Um, absolutely. So there's, uh, lots of free time in the afternoons. Jan, do you want to touch on this question? Absolutely. The group meditation really on the regular, uh, there will be breathing exercises. There might be some body centering, uh, body scanning in nature, uh, where they're just, there are moments when it is just wonderful for us to just sit where we are quietly and listen to the, the nature around us. Uh, so it might not be the formal meditation that you may have experienced at home, uh, but it will absolutely be incorporated into the retreat as a mindful exercise on the regular. Uh, and then the yoga sessions, we, on this particular one, Hallie, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe we have a yoga session planned. It is something on many of Run Wild Retreats, yoga is uh, a piece that we'll incorporate along with spa treatments. Um, but having said that, I'm a fitness instructor. I'm happy to do stretching with everyone on the regular. Um, and then, you know, uh, Oftentimes we do have yogis who can absolutely find time to practice uh, their yoga while they're on retreat. Perfect. Yep. And um, and also the the hotels, they offer um, various wellness experiences. So, so sometimes that includes yoga. Sometimes it's their spa facilities. So um, uh, either way, um, whether yoga in the thermal pool sounds fantastic to me. Yeah. Very light yoga would be perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, another question that came in uh, was the, um, how is this retreat different uh, from the running retreat? Well, the main difference is, um, is that we'll be at a hiking pace rather than a running pace. Um, and also the itinerary takes us up into the highlands and, and to different places. So um, it's different in that regard as well. Um, and then somebody else asked if there are options for women who wish to run um, instead of hike. So during the group hikes, uh, we will be hiking. If you are a runner who is going to be on this hiking retreat, um, there's tons of opportunity for you to uh, run on your own um, during free time. So outside of the hotels, there's access to trails. And if you want to get out um, for a few miles running on your own during free time, there's absolutely the opportunity to do that. Um, and everyone will be hiking at their own pace as well. And we absolutely support that in terms of everyone hiking at a pace that's comfortable for them. Uh, and with our local guides um, and myself as a retreat leader, you'll always have someone with you from that will be supporting your, you out there. Absolutely. And I'm just going to close this out so I can see you all a little bit better. Um, 
So oh, yeah. Carlene said one of the best experiences on, on the running retreat were the evening dinners with uh, the entire retreat participants. I couldn't agree more. Um, the wonderful bonding that happens through those experiences. Will this be the same on the hiking retreat? Um, absolutely. Yep. Do you want to elaborate, Jan? You, you, you're in those moments often. Um, I absolutely, absolutely. agree. Uh, we oftentimes, um, actually Eleanor, the founder of Run Wild Retreats and Wellness, she, I'm quoting her when she says, you know, it's about the running or hiking, but it's also about so much more. And that's what this time together is about. It's laughter. It's, um, empathy, compassion, understanding, sharing our stories, getting to know new people. It is rare in this world where you actually have time one-on-one, -on -one, no phones, just good food, good conversation, and you can look someone in the eye and feel like you know them. And at the end of a retreat, you will feel that these are your friends and they, you know, in many cases, they do become lifelong friends. I have seen it mm -hmm. uh, with myself and others. And then amongst uh, the participants that have been on my retreats, it's really a magical thing. But I think these meals together, this time together really fosters that experience. Yep, absolutely. I've heard the most amazing stories of women who meet on our retreats and then they get together throughout the rest of the year. Um, you know, maybe they they run a race together, maybe they get together for a hike. Um, but I time and time again, or you can just go to our Google reviews to see and then they'll go on retreats again together. Exactly. Or yeah. Book another retreat together. Who, yeah. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, you sh travel solo to a retreat. The next retreat, you're not traveling solo because you're going with a woman who you met on your last retreat. So but you can't wait to see again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it happens all the time. It's really beautiful. Uh, does anybody have any more questions? If not, we can go ahead and wrap up a little bit early. Um, I'm going to be sending out a, an email with a link to the recording of this webinar. Um, so you can rewatch it or uh, that will that email will also have my contact information if you want to have a one on one session to talk a little bit more about you specifically and this retreat. Um, we've also just uh, did a press release today about this retreat. So I will put a link to that um, article in in the post webinar email as well um but thank you all so much for making this such a, a wonderful webinar it was really great to see everybody um and we we really hope to enjoy this retreat with you so uh again thank you so much enjoy the rest of your evening thank excellent. you excellent thank you hallie that was Thanks, great <laughs>